this section is feature a tech tip or a demo. So uh, what I'm going to do today is just do a quick tech tip. So uh, uh, any of you guys out there that are Windows uh, users, um, uh, how to optimize or reset Internet Explorer 7 back to its defaults. So um, you might you might have uh, you might have had problems. I know I've had to do this many times on my uh, Internet Explorer, and I've recently helped a few people do it on their Internet Explorer because they couldn't access certain websites or couldn't uh, uh, do certain content. Um, the the notes I have here say in Internet Explorer, some people are starting to have minor problems that crop up every now and again. Some of these issues may be menu issues, some may be features that no longer work, and there's one quick way to resolve a lot of IE7 problems is to reset your settings back to their factory default. Uh, to do this, uh, uh, to do this, follow these easy steps, and this will solve uh, quite a few issues with IE7. And uh, hey, Shelby, <laughs> Shelby, I've never seen that. Oh, yeah, that's right, that's that guy's name. Uh, will resolve quite a few problems with Windows IE7. Um, uh, but may also keep in mind this may also uh, remove any add-ons that you've installed. So if you've added, you know, things like Flash Player or other add-ons, a Skype add-on to to make it so web pages will call directly to a Skype phone number, those may be removed, and you may have to reinstall those. So keep in mind if you do this, you may have to reinstall some software add-ons. But basically, uh, it it goes on. So and I have a few other tips here. Um, so to uh, to reset your settings back to uh, back to its default, you basically just click the Tools fold-out menu, go to Internet Options, click the Advanced tab, and select Reset Internet Explorer Settings, and then click Reset. And that will basically reset your Internet Explorer settings. I'm going to have the link to all this information in the show notes, and uh, you can reference it there. However, I wanted to also mention how you can, I found in the story, uh, off of uh, Microsoft doing some quick research on this. Uh, there's some other methods where you can optimize your uh, your Internet Explorer as well. So um, that was basically to clear your cache, and I have information on how to do that. If you want to clear your cache in Internet Explorer, go to Tools, and then click Delete Browsing History, and then uh, in Delete Browsing History, click Delete All and uh, this will clear your uh, your cache and that may also speed up or optimize uh, your your browsing uh, performance. Another uh, uh, thing, and this is what I've had to do with a few people too, is reset the security settings. Uh, to reset your security settings in Internet Explorer, go to, again, Tools, Internet Options, click the Security tab, and click Reset All Zones to Default Level. So keep in mind if you've tweaked your browser to to like block cookies or not run ActiveX or things like that, you may have to go back and tweak those settings again. But if you have problems with your browser and it's not displaying certain content or running certain things, this may be the fix for you. So uh, uh, keep an eye uh, keep an eye out and just, you know, you can also do a few screenshots of your settings and then possibly uh, um, replicate them back into your settings if you want or just turn on one at a time. So. That's the tech tip for this week, how to optimize and or reset your Internet Explorer settings back to the default. Uh, again, it was clearing the cache, resetting your security settings, or, uh, or opening up your uh, tools, Internet options, advanced, and resetting just all of the settings back to their factory default. Again, I'll have the link to uh, more information on this. I'll throw it in chat right now. But if you're interested, I'll also have it published in the show notes. And I found a great article at Microsoft.com that outlines all of those things I just spoke about. So let's go ahead and uh, talk about um, general discussions. So this section of the show, what I like to do is just do some general discussions. So uh, viewers, if you don't know or if you uh, just arrived here, note that we're having a giveaway after this show. This giveaway is going to include something like one of these uh, potential gift cards. You can see there there's a, a $50 gift card, a $25 gift card, and two $15 gift cards, as well as I have four other gift certificates to companies like Amazon, Buy.com, Newegg.com, and uh, GoDaddy.com. So stay tuned for that. We're going to have the giveaway just after this show, and uh, uh, good luck to anyone. If you haven't entered the giveaway, just go to HighWeb.net and uh, uh, click on the giveaway link and sign up. You don't have much time to get signed up for that, 
but uh, go ahead and do that. And uh, as long as you meet the eligibility requirements, you could potentially win a $50 gift card. So uh, uh, again, here then uh, in general discussions, I like to talk about future segments. Uh, that will include things like music production segments, hardware reviews, and demos. Uh, as you guys heard during the segment of the show, I featured part of that new song called Suicide Woman by the uh, national band called The Crying Spell. I'm going to be streaming a live concert uh, from The Crying Spell on Saturday night at 9 p.m. I hope to see you guys in the chat. I'll be in there as I work the stream from the location uh, on site. And uh, I just posted that in the chat there. You can just go to thecryingspell.com, click on the live stream, and it will take you to the website uh, and the chat room where we have that stream set up. That's being... Uh, exclusively streamed on Ustream, and Ustream has uh, become a partner of ours for this streaming effort. And you can also see on Ustream.tv, uh, we have a uh, ad banner um, under their events and announcements section, and uh, Ustream was going to graciously write up some information on, on uh, the concert in their uh, blog and publish that out to a bunch of people. So uh, let's so the next section, and also just uh, to, to talk further on that, uh, we're going to include hardware reviews and demos. We're also uh, working to engage subject matter experts for custom segments in the show. As I mentioned earlier, the, the IT consultants of Chicago uh, are in the chat room, and they featured High Web Interactive in their uh, newsletter just last week. We may engage some of those folks to come in and talk to us about you know, security projects that they're working on or just standard uh, IT uh, consulting type projects that they're working on as well as we're taking on other subject matter experts like programmers from Microsoft, people that specialize on alternative energy type uh, applications and scenarios, bringing them to the plate so we can do segments and possibly even away from this Thursday Night Live show that will just be feeding, uh, feeding into the show here and there, maybe right in this show, little clippets of it, and then saying tune in uh, Saturday for the entire show or tune in Tuesday for the entire show or things like that. So if you are a subject matter expert and you have some technology geek speak or some IT uh, talk that you'd like to bring to the show, feel free to email me any of your uh, ideas or, and or tips or recommendations. So this leads right into the next thing I want to talk about. Any tips or recommendations for the show, go ahead and just go to highweb.net, click on the, the contact button and let me know what you'd like to see on the show. What are we doing good? What are we doing bad? Do you guys want to see more guest speakers on the show? Because um, pretty much this is show number 14. I've been pretty much running it myself. I'm, you know, just try to share as much I, as I can about this technology uh, and that sort of thing. But send any tips or recommendations to live at highweb.net, and we'll try to incorporate your ideas. I'm, I'm doing this for myself a little bit, but I'm also doing it for the community um, because I'm passionate about technology, and I assume a large number of you guys are also passionate about technology, that's why you're here. So uh, also, so then uh, any of the past shows, if you guys are interested in seeing any of High Web's past shows, we publish, uh, a after each show, we take, uh, take the show and break it into about four pieces and put it out on YouTube in various videos and always reflect back to the website to see the past shows. But at any time, just click on uh, that link or just go to live.highweb.net, click on past shows, and you can see all of our past shows in their entirety. Uh, and you can also just go to our blog and see the shows uh, published there as well, or even uh, on YouTube, as I said, in the segments. But uh, feel free to check out any of our past shows to kind of see how High Web Interactive has evolved to uh, try to become a more of a professional uh, production from week to week, and uh, hope to continue that. And I hope by my 52nd show, I'm going to have uh, a fairly professional production here. So... Um, this is kind of the closing of the show, and uh, as I said, stay tuned for the giveaway just after this show. Then uh, there's R.E. Sawyer just came into the chat room. Here was one of, I think he was the, the first giveaway winner that we ever uh, chose out of the chat room. And uh, I think there, I don't know, I don't see the other giveaway winners, but we've had three giveaways to this point. We gave away $50 one time, and we've given away two $15 iTunes gift cards. Again, tonight we have from $50 to $15 gift cards that we're going to give away just after this show. Again, go to highweb.net, click giveaway, and uh, sign up for that, and you could be eligible to win. 